All right, welcome to a special robot adventures instructional video came by. <clears throat> um, this video I wanted to share with you some of my uh, techniques on um, making a custom figure. So, of course you guys know, um, this guy right here, Robot Adventures, is a custom paint job, converted a, a Revolt Tech figure to that guy. Um, this guy right here. I uh, made an Ultra Magnus-esque thing out of um, the movie First Line. And um, <clears throat> that was for uh, Larry, uh, Mr. Plastic Robots. I changed the, the um, laser beak into that. And this is my experimental junkyard uh, bumblebee. So, um, I like uh, customizing. I like uh, making uh, um, figures and p repainting them. Um, you've seen my collection, what I have, my airbrushes, my... Um, my uh, my air compressor and stuff like that. Um, I think there are a lot of um, videos out there um, showing how to um, how to brush and how to mask and stuff like that. But um, what I wanted to show you today, um, uh, I, I wanted to show you some of my maybe higher level techniques. Uh, you know, some of the stuff that I use. Um, to get some of the effects that I get uh, on the on the on the paint jobs. So, of course, you guys are all familiar with you know using a clear coat. We got a nice uh, clear, and that's used as a top coat, right? Um, after you get the paint down, you want to put a clear coat or something like that to help protect the paint. Um, also, you guys know that um, um, yeah, you, you don't want to mix different types of paint because um, if you have a stronger paint on top of a, a weaker paint, uh, you'll get some bleeding. Uh, it's a it's a term used where the bottom coat will kind of dissolve because the top coat is stronger and um, yeah, there, there are a lot of ways to paint and a lot of different uh, ways to get the effects you want. And I just wanted to share with you some of the some of the ways that I get some effects. So, you can be. Ah, so, first of all, um, I think uh, obvious uh, thing um, to use would be a Q-tip. And a Q-tip is used uh, to get the area um, that you want to get. Um, you use this uh, to get the effect with the, the kind of thing where you kind of move it. And then you... It's a good, it's a good way um, to, to do that kind of technique. And um, if you can use it right, uh, I think the, the end results will uh come through so that's a good that's a good uh tool right there q-tips good also i think maybe use it right here. that's right a bendy straw you can use a bendy straw and it bends like that um very versatile you can use this in so many different applications uh i don't have to tell you guys how useful this is but uh, for some of you beginners um, yeah 
once you get up to bendy straw I think you're really gonna you're really gonna show how good your technique is and you're gonna you're gonna you know people you know people who know about it are gonna recognize the technique but um, yeah important to get you can pick up these bendy straws uh, fairly cheap um, yeah so if you if you're really serious about painting um, customizing your figures then you probably want to go with the bendy straws um, you know some people talk about the, the the diameter of the bendy straws but you know it really depends on the size of the figure and and how you're gonna use it apply it and stuff like that so um, you you have to do some experimentation of course but um, bendy straw great for customizing um, another <laughs> a classic technique the rubber band and you know you know the rubber band now I can't tell you how many times I've used this thing and how many times um, I've been blown away by you know the end result if you if you can master the rubber band I mean you I don't think you know everyone who started customizing started somewhere and and they started and then they they got up to the point where they started using the rubber band and um and then you can you can tell the difference from you know the beginner and then the and so rubber band technique I really like it um, it's useful in so many applications um, so yeah I'm completely recommending uh, using the rubber band uh, technique um, you know there's okay well yeah rubber band technique it's a way to go um, I didn't want to I didn't want to get into the controversy but um you know the the this is an old technique right and uh way back from uh when you know when people were painting back in uh the colonial days in America and uh this was uh made famous um uh, some of the the early colonial painters uh, in the Appalachian area of the of the East Coast in America, um, the Southern Appalachian area had their own technique with the rubber band, and the Northern Appalachians uh, had their own technique. And so there was like, well, you know, it was Southern Appalachian, Northern Appalachian, and stuff like that. So. Um, I think it's up to you to, you know, maybe Google that, find out what you think about it. But, um, yeah, once, you know, once you go rubber band, you know, there you go. Some of the other simpler techniques that, uh, I like to use, um, a chunk of wood, a little piece of wood with holes drilled in it. I uh, really like using this thing, um the placement of the holes uh, really depends on uh the figure so you want to research that make sure you know how to do that and yeah you know it's fairly obvious what you do with the piece of stick here a piece of wood and a bunch of holes i mean <laughs> who doesn't know what to do with this and finally of course uh, the simple you know clean and yeah and yeah roll the toilet paper so um what, what can I say about a roll of toilet paper uh very useful um yeah it gets in to all the right places you can use it with your left hand or your right hand uh, you got the crumple technique or you got the roll up and swipe technique so so many different ways to use a roll of toilet paper um I so I sometimes don't even use toilet paper. Sometimes I just use my hand. 
I'm like, well, fuck it. You know, I'm going natural. And, uh, toilet paper, a little bit artificial in the painting technique, but also useful. Um, or you can just scoop it up and then just, you know. So, uh, I hope that helped. I hope, um, some of those techniques, uh, you'll use in your customizing. Um, and, yeah. Uh, have fun with your Transformers, painting them up. Good, good stuff. You know, if you run, run across somebody who doesn't use the same rubber band technique or the, you know, bendy straw, you can laugh at them, but, um, yeah, fucking Republicans. Campaign! Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.